Hey everybody, it's Dr. Michael Hyland, physical therapist, and I am here to t bring another video to you about Parkinson's disease education. Today we're talking about orthostatic hypotension, or OH. What is orthostatic hypotension, you ask? Well, that is a condition where you have drops in blood pressure, sudden and large drops in blood pressure with positional changes. For example, from lying down when you're sleeping to getting up on the side of the bed um, and also leading to standing up to maybe go to the bathroom or walk, walk wherever you're about to walk. It can happen from sitting to standing or lying down to sitting or both. And, um, and typically the definition of orthostatic hypotension is when the blood pressure reading drops greater than 20 millimeters of mercury with a position change. Fact check me on that, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I think it's 20. Um, so, but the point is, in Parkinson's disease, it's a very common non-motor symptom of Parkinson's to have orthostatic hypotension. Now, not everybody with Parkinson's will have OH, but with those that do, what's the reason that it happens? The number one reason that it happens, and we've mentioned this in previous videos, is that the that Parkinson's disease itself causes um, impairments in the autonomic nervous system. It directly impairs the autonomic nervous system. And again, the autonomic nervous system is con in control of things that we are not voluntarily doing. So our breathing, um, our heart rate and rhythm, digestion, and so forth, another uh, direct function of the autonomic nervous system is our blood pressure regulation. And that's mainly done through a combination of uh, basically heart rate and rhythm changes, so cardiac output. Your heart rate increasing and beating harder will make more blood flow through the system. Um, in addition to that, our brain controls the ability of our blood vessels to constrict and to relax. And if we want to raise our blood pressure, we increase the heart rate and constrict the blood vessels. If we want the blood pressure to lower, the body will dilate the vessels, make them larger, and slow the heart rate down. So and those, are, those two are directly connected. With orthostatic hypotension, the problem is, is that that connection between the brain and the blood vessels is not working right. So we, we change positions, like going to standing from sitting for quite a long period of time, for example, or lying down to sitting. And normally our body will react to feeling, feeling the gravitational pull. Um, there are, sorry, the gravitational pull will cause the blood pressure to start to decrease, right? So all the blood starting to rush down to where gravity is pulling it towards. Normally what happens is the there are receptor cells in the lining of our major arteries called baroreceptors or pressure receptors. And they can, they can sense when there's drops or increases in pressure. And as there's um, a drop in pressure, the baroreceptors will send a signal to the brain, which in turn sends a signal back to the heart to, let's pump a little bit, let's pump a little bit faster, and then it sends a signal also at the same time to the blood vessels saying, let's get a little tighter, because we've got to make the uh, opening a little smaller and increase the pressure, because it's, it's dropping. And so that response is faulty in Parkinson's disease in many cases. The blood pressure is lowering, but there's no response to correct that drop in blood pressure. So it tanks. The person may see stars pass out, feel really washed out, and things like that. So in some cases, people need to be on medication to, uh, to prevent that blood pressure from dropping and to keep it at a, at a more higher base level. Some people will have hypotension anyway. And so if you already have low blood pressure or hypotension, having orthostatic hypotension where it changes with positions, it's even worse situation because it could drop really fast and really violently in some cases and cause the person to basically pass out. So that's why it happens and that's the autonomic nervous system is the reason that it's impaired in particular with Parkinson's disease. And as I mentioned, medication, honestly, is really the only remedy to it. So orthostatic hypotension is not something that therapy is going to improve um, or exercise, anything like that necessarily. 
um, at least it won't fix the underlying problem. Exercise before you stand up may actually help to increase your blood pressure enough that it gives you a buffer so that when you stand up it doesn't drop as much. Um, but the condition orthostatic hypotension is treated medically. So talk to your neurologist, talk to your primary care physician, um, and hopefully as a team they can get you on the right combination of medications to help that blood pressure from tanking when you change positions. Let me know in the comments what you think and what your experience has been, if any, with orthostatic hypotension. Please feel free to share this video, absolutely like the video, and consider subscribing. This is going to help more people just like you all across the world to find out more information about their Parkinson's disease and what can be done to fight some of the symptoms, motor and non-motor, and have the best quality of life with Parkinson's possible. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Be empowered.